Michelle and today we're going to be doing baby rattle bead charms. I'm so excited about these bead charms. I've been wanting to put together some baby rattles for quite some time and I just haven't been able to find the right beads. I was recently gifted some beads that I think are going to work great for baby rattles. This one is 18 millimeters across in a pink color for the girl one with some little rhinestones on there and it's sort of a coin shaped bead it's very flat and I think that's going to make a good rattle this one also it's more rounded sort of a bubble shape it measured at about 17 and a half millimeters across so anywhere in the 17 18 millimeter range is going to work great and for each one I've got a matching four millimeter sequin to sort of reduce the size of our hole there and a matching six millimeter round pearl that's going to be the little ball shaped handle that's at the bottom and we're going to be using just one of my 30 millimeter white bugle beads and I'm just using this because it's what I had on hand I'm actually going to be breaking this in half to make two 15 millimeter ones so if you want to go ahead and purchase 15 millimeters you can do that or if you already have some that are about 15 millimeters or so that'll work I'm just using what I've got on hand and then I've got a 3 inch head pin for each one and a lobster clasp we're also going to need a jump ring for each one I'll be making mine from the excess of my head pins if you don't want to do that just go ahead and bring in a couple of jump rings so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I broke my bugle bead here this is a glass bead and I just took a couple of pairs of pliers that were wide I have this pair of flat nose pliers and it's the only ones I have that are that wide other than my nylon pliers so I'm going to go ahead and use those and I just want to kind of eyeball where the middle is and put my thumbnail there and I'm going to bring one pair of my pliers right up to that middle bring the other pair of pliers right to that and then just give it a little bit of a twist and it'll snap and that didn't come out very even so let's try that again bring in another one here and see about where my middle is and get a hold of it with my pliers and get a hold of the other side and just give it a little bit of a twist to break those in half and that came out pretty even and then on that jagged edge all I did was just take an emery board and just file that jagged edge until it's smooth and about the size that I want it to be and like I said if you guys have 15 millimeter white bugle beads go ahead and use that I just didn't want to wait on an order I usually order my beads from China and it takes a while so I just wanted to go ahead and use what I had so here I've got two of those already done and then all we have to do is assemble those we take our head pin first put on our six millimeter round pearl that's our ball handle at the bottom and then our now 15 millimeter white bugle bead I did have some this size in the clear AB but I really wanted to use the white I thought that looked more like what a baby rattle would be so then I'm going to put my sequin with the cupped area coming upward and then my main bead up here and actually I think I'm going to have to bring in some jump rings because I didn't have enough excess there so now I'm just going to hold everything firmly together 
and bend that over at about a 90 degree angle. And then I want to cut that down to about a quarter of an inch, maybe just slightly more than a quarter, which doesn't take off much. And then I'm going to take my round nose and roll that into a loop. And there is one baby rattle. And I want to get my pink one put together here too. So same thing, put on my six millimeter pearl and then my white 15 millimeter bugle bead. My sequin cupping upward and then my main bead for my rattle. And isn't that cute? I just love that. Okay, so again, I'm going to hold everything firmly downward and bend that head pin at a 90 degree angle and trim it down to just barely more than a quarter of an inch. Roll that into a loop with my round nose pliers. And I need to get a couple of jump rings. I actually found a head pin here that the head had been cut off of. I don't know why, but I like to use my scraps. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to come about halfway up the shaft of the round nose pliers. And just start rolling that. And we can get probably a few out of this. And then everywhere that that meets will be a jump ring. Just bring my pliers right to where that meets coming around. a couple of jump rings and we can actually get a couple of more out of that but this is all we need for now so I'm just going to take that open it up dangle on my baby rattle and then my lobster clasp and close it back up and there you have one baby rattle. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And close that up. And there are your two baby rattle bead charms. I think they're just adorable. And these would be great for little baby shower favors or something like that. And you can use your imagination and really fancy these up in all different ways. You can change up the colors. You can change up the shapes of the bead at the top or what you use as the handle at the bottom. You could add a little bow here at the top of the handle. Just whatever you guys want to do. But I think they turned out so cute. sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my baby rattle bead charms. I think they're just adorable and I had a lot of fun. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page and be sure to join our Facebook group Crafty Minds. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram and don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to everything in the description below so be sure and check them out. 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.